Hello everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Resurrection. So, uh, let's see what we got for this mission. So we, we finished mission 3 and now mission 4 is available as well as this little uh, character thingy. Uh, but first I want to check out these side missions, see what we got available to us. Another so we got an ambush, this failed scouting, so we're going to have to go in with max strength. Ministry has decided it's time for this colony hmm. ship to join the big leagues. Unfortunately, the Colonial Fleet has transferred a new crew from Oracle Duties. Okay. Minotaur gunship. Not bad. Send in a scout. Dismiss you. Ambush. Another, another one of these. Command. Send this in a scout. Is one of the central pillars of Cylon Command in this sector. We take it out, and Cylon Foundations will be that little bit weaker. Check here. One more turn for that Minotaur. Two more turns for the Minerva. Three more turns for this Minerva. This Artemis is still in queue. A couple of things are still in queue. All right. Okay, good to know. So what I'm thinking is, one, PSG-75 will be repaired. Uh, and we send in 31 with its pretty heavy force. Uh, and we jump them into this mission. Uh, and then we'll see what the scouts uh, report for these two missions. But, uh, and also double check here. What is that? That's uh, 19. Cool. Is one of the central pillars. 19. That won't get us down all the way, but it'll get us down a decent amount of the way. Uh, but let's see about these like uh, little character thingies. I want to I wanna see what the, this one's about. Last time it was uh, mostly just between Sarkis and the commander of the Galactica. And like a lot of tension. So let's see what we got with this one. I understand Palace Core Control is mostly back online. What do the numbers on the ground look like, Doctor? The casualties are at 12,000, with another 20 on site still at risk. Merciful Ares. Nothing merciful about it. Question is, what's got Lachesis so riled up it decides to swing low and target the God's damn air we breathe? Clothus was adaptable and manipulative. But Lachesis expected us to be squashed under its boot by now. Something's changed. It's rushing. Perhaps it sees no other option. External pressures may be forcing it to act rashly. Depopulation is a hell of a shortcut. You folks are going to want to figure this out fast. If Lachesis wants ecological warfare, things are going to get biblical real quick. Okay. So let's see what Mission 4 actually is. I'm assuming it's going to have something to do with them attacking the Cobbleformer in orbit that we saw. After what happened at Palace, Ministry thinks Lachesis will take another shot at ecology-scale warfare. That scenario falls way outside of anyone's know-how around here. So we're going to recruit the best in the field. You'll have heard of Piotr Magnus, but maybe not as much about his employer. The Aspis Foundation holds the only data set that survived the original Cobbleforming operations. They run a tight interference on anyone trying to revive the market. So our boy Piotra is the head of the class when it comes to knowing how to make a planet habitable. Dr. Magnus hmm. is currently at Aquaria for some academic summit. Nash wants to bring him in and see if he's got any ideas on where Lachesis will hit next. We probably don't need to jump the whole fleet for this, but hey, nothing like a personal Battlestar escort to convince the civvies to play along. Okay, so I see... ESM is one of the few intercolony academic summits that has continued despite the, uh, the Cylon War. Recent years, the focus has changed from uh, domestic ecological support to the proliferation of frontier technologies. Aquaria is the uh, was the last of the twelve colonies to be cobble formed. Despite having the largest atmospheric differential to make up, it is it was the third quickest to develop a breathable volume. After Aquaria, no other planet in this uh, Senate system has successfully been fully uh, cobble formed. Okay. Choirs, Raptors, and the Galactica. Good to know. All right. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and do this mission and see what happens. So, what do we have? Okay. 
Okay, and yes, the Heracles is the new ship on the block. And it's going to be deployed high, just like the Minotaur, or Manticore, not, not Min Minotaur. <laughs> we don't need new... Whew. Sorry, guys. A little bit of a uh, hiccup there. You don't need nukes for this one. I don't think. Actually, we have no idea. We're going to keep the nukes. We're going to keep one nuke with a spare nuke. Yeah, we're going to keep a spare nuke on the Celestra. So it cost us a little bit to supply, but you know what? We're going to probably need it. Got four ships, so it could either be a lot, like in terms of really big, or it could be basically nothing. We'll see. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Okay. Dreadus contacts. Cylon fleet is present. What do we got? Four enemy ships. Kind of knew that already. Got it. Let's get you all kind of moved over this way. Deploy all yes, birds. Yes, Commander. And that's all our birds. Let's see what they deploy. Two squadrons could be a really light unit and just uh, it's got two talons and a nemesis or it could be something really heavy we absolutely have no idea send out the assault raptor get us some sight going on here I'm gonna have you slow down yes, gonna have the battle stars move forward a bit you're moving that way good good We'll deploy one Mark II to defend this guy, just in case. Alright, and turn. Okay, you're bigger than what we thought. That is a Revenant. Okay, spin you out. You're pulling off. Okay, enemy squadrons. Every single one of you to select target and go for this raider squadron. Focus fire you. So lower yourself down a little bit. Go full defensive, see what you see. Give me a missile barrage Got there. It. So I've seen multiple squadrons deployed, so this is definitely going to be something big. So I want everything deployed. Fire missiles there. Fire APs yes, and missiles. Salvo launch ready. We'll hold the Galactic, or not the Galactic, <laughs> we'll hold the uh, Mikey R, their missiles, just in case, and next turn. Okay, missiles fired. Good hits, he's open on the left. Talon. One of these, that's either going to be a base star or a Cerberus, that might be a Talon. Paint target there. Let's go ahead and fire missiles on you. Go off full defensive. So Keep moving on. there. We're gonna twist. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Just do around there. We're gonna have the Celestra move across 
here. And the ranger is going to move. We will hold off on the nuke for right now. Heracles is doing good. Doing good. Okay. Assault Raptors are taking shots. Okay. He's gone. Assault Raptors, I want you to Got it. fall back. Fall back. Okay, you're good. Select target. Go for... There's two Raider squadrons. Go for the War Driver squadron. So say we all. I'm going to hope that the Assault Raptors get through, but I highly doubt that they're going to live with two Raiders on their backs. So take a shot there. Three turns for you. I'm on it, Commander. Alright, we're splitting the, the Battle Stars up a little bit. Yes, Commander. Celestra will stay over towards you. Yes, sir. Fire missiles. I got it. Okay. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, they're Keep gonna die. Use them as a trap to get all those raiders in. Okay, they're outside of the flak field now. Did knock out all those missiles, though. That's good. So actually, we will cancel flak. Going to have you go to full defensive. Give me sight on what that is, then pull back. Let's do an AP shot on you, then hold off with the missiles for right now. We are going to go ahead and we do not have a rearm for basic missiles. So say we all. Fire the Galacticas there. Salvo launch ready. And let's turn. Oh, I thought I canceled that flak. Shit. There goes you. Oh, I thought I did. No, he's, he's still firing flak. Cancel. Alright. Yep, thought so. We have a base star. Base star. I'm on it, Commander. I'm on Engineering. It, Commander. Get the hell out. Our missiles on the base star. War drivers are being targeted. All of you are being targeted. Good, good. Once the war drivers are gone, we'll go ahead and send our ranger in with the nuke. So say we all. Okay. Next turn. Oh, avoided. Yep, everybody avoided that. Okay, we're gonna go to the right side. I'm gonna switch that up and then we'll cancel it and see if that does anything. Alright, Ranger is clear. No more war drivers in the sky. You are clear for atomic weapons. So say we all. Go ahead and get engineering up. Fire that. Okay. Do you want to focus fire on you? And end turn. Okay, there we go. Optimizing firing solution. Minerva can take that.
Okay, now we will cancel flak. And your whole job will be to fire on that base star. Fire APs as well. Reload APs for the Minerva. Restock nukes. Okay, no, you can't restock nukes. Fire missiles. Salvo launch ready. Yes, Commander. All right. Next turn. Missiles going in. That's what you get, cracker. All right. Nukes almost there. Let's move off a bit. I think this might actually kill it. It's already taken some damage. So, let's see. Ooh. Not bad. Units are dark. They didn't know what hit them. Ooh, and you almost ranked up. Good, good. Yeah, Heracles is doing really well. I like it a lot. If only we didn't have that little glitch there for a while where we... I think we were firing flak, or maybe we weren't. I don't know. Could have been a graphical glitch, or could have actually just been a glitch where it kept firing flak. Let's go ahead and proceed. Alright, two missions there. Civilian threat still pretty low. New Minotaur has been built. So you can go ahead and transfer to 60. 60's now got... Fairly, it's got a uh, missile cruiser and two Minotaur gunships, plus a Celestra, which is not actually that bad. Um, Alright, let's see what we got. Field promotion. 6,500, that is a huge enemy force there. We'll have to deal with that. We need to intercept... What do we got for the ambush here? 8,600. Dear Lord. We take it out, and Cylon Foundations will be that little bit weaker. Dear Lord. What do we even have that can deal with that? Let's repair you, by the way. I absolutely have no idea. I mean, not even, not even the Battlestar group can do that. Yeah, you're at the max right there. So let's think. Can we promote you? 160? Yes. Promote. Y'all control, why not? You promote. Promote 500. Let's see, if we promote you again, you would be rank 7, which means you wouldn't get Command 4. Which does kind of suck. 500, no. Shit, we might have to just send in 75. Battlestar Group 75, or maybe BSG 31. 31 with all of its, uh... Could send in 31, go heavy on the nukes, and try and overpower them with, uh, our... With our fighters. Let's see here, the ambush... Hostile squadron cover. We need a lot of fighters. Which would mean we'd have to send in 75. Because 75 has got... It's got uh, two fighter, four, five, six fighter squadrons, plus assault raptors, one, two, three, four, yeah. 
damn good amount of fighter cover there, so 75 would have to be the one. So we send in Battlestar Group 75 to mission to this mission here. But this one, field promotion is pretty high, 6,500. So 6,500, we could send in 31. Or we could send in uh, 28. It's got a pretty good roster. Go ahead and make sure you're on, uh, actually... Uh, I didn't check. Has decided it's time High impact munitions. So we're, we're thinking probably revenants. Uh, so 28 we could send in. Probably instead of APs here, we load them down with a... I'm going to say a nuke. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine with that. With that. Could go ahead and do an EMP mine or a generator. Kind of like the idea of, like, EMP. Send an EMP mine up, that might be good. And then you will have a spare nuke. So we'll have two total. So, okay, we send in 28 to mission field promotion. And 75 to ambush. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So let's check our build ships log here. One more turn for a Minerva. Two more turns for another Minerva. Four more turns for this Artemis. Okay, not bad, not bad. I can rush you and you. And then we'll start building another Heracles, another Ranger. Well, probably one more Heracles is actually. I like them a lot. Uh, we get that going. Got our two Mark IIs down here that are being built, and by built, I mean they're still well far back behind. Uh, could get a Celestra going, because I don't think... I don't think we have a Celestra in... Oh, we do. Okay. Uh, but we can go ahead and get this Battlestar transferred to 60. Ooh, no, we do not have that. Never mind about that. We can transfer you to 67. Okay. And then you will transfer to 67 as well. And assign you an officer. One that is unassigned currently. Assign. Assign. Good. Okay, and then you can become... You can become Battlestar Group... Uh, 67. That's right. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so Battlestar Group 67. We still have Colonial Fleet 60. Might have to just splurge on our wreck points to promote them. 500? Yeah, fuck it. Get you going. There we go. Next Battlestar we make, we'll go into... Actually, you know what? Transfer you, the Orlear, to 60. Cool. 60 will be renamed BSG 60. So we have two Battlestar groups, basically only in name, not an actual uh, combat capability. I mean, no, actually, Battlestar Group 60 is basically a Battlestar group. It has what, what it needs. Make sure we have Mark IIs on you. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And then 67 is just the Toa and the uh, Dormon uh, by themselves, but they are still Battlestar. They're still Battlestar group because it is it is one ship being led by a Battlestar, so thereby it does meet the qualifications. Uh, but yeah, I think what we're going to do is end the episode here and we'll be picking it up. We'll resend two fleets that we discussed out on these missions to deal with them. 
So yeah, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below. As well, take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!